Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. I'm once again in Arc Genesis 2 and this time around I am playing around with the missions. Now, in this video, folks, I'm going to show you how to complete the Team Downriver run on Alpha. And the reason for this is, yes, whilst they are difficult, this one is the mission that is actually the most broken one. So right now, as you can see, my canoe is actually floating. I don't really have much control over it. And uh, so what makes this difficult? Uh, the first one is the hitbox of the canoe is freaking huge. It is three, four times the width of the canoe. So you have to be careful how you maneuver. Then, as you can see right here, you end up floating. There's a lot of rubber banding. I am doing this on my own server, but my server does have good uh, internet connection. So do I. So there's no reason for the rubber banding. But also... It seems like the canoe does snag onto certain things. And as you see right here, control over the canoe can be sometimes a bit of a pain. And all it takes is a bit of a tap and you will then lose a lot of health. Uh, that on top of the fact that sometimes the canoe does not want to do what you want it to do. So controlling this can be a bit difficult. Now this is apparently meant to be a team thing. Um, but it is doable time wise. It's not that difficult. What does make it difficult is the endless amount of bugs. Uh, particularly the one where the canoe becomes irresponsive. And you can't really control it for a couple of seconds. So you end up hitting one of these rocks. And then the other one that's really annoying is when your canoe kind of starts floating. As it's doing now. Okay we're going back on water again. But as you saw, that sort of thing does make it that much more difficult. And then, of course, sometimes a canoe does its own little thing where it just decides to spin out of control. You also have to account for the water current. And let's see. Are we going to touch this? Because there we go. I physically lost that because apparently I touched or the hitbox of my canoe touched that rock. So uh, I have figured out uh, how to do this. It's not easy because of how broken it is, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So you can see all the missions that I've been playing around with, that I've been trying. So now let's do this one for real. And as I go through it, I will talk you through what you need to look out for, uh, what you need to do. And basically, I may take a couple of attempts, and yes, it is frustrating. I've been doing this for... I'd say four hours now, but I am determined to get it done, and so get it done I shall. Despite the fact that it's really broken. I mean, this is uh, bad, badly broken. So let's try this again. Uh, now, hopefully I get to do it uh, fairly good on this run. I kind of know what to look out for. Uh, unless something unexpected happens. And sometimes I have had a bit of a surprise with unexpected things. So right here, the idea is we don't want to... Um, get too close to rocks or the land so think of it this way on either side of the canoe your hitbox is oh here we go rubber banding just what i was telling you about uh, on either side of the canoe you have a hitbox that is about twice the size of your canoe so add another canoe to either side of your actual canoe uh you do want to hit the little uh, orange circles to do the time I'm trying to play with gamma here. Uh, obviously, it will help with saving time. But as you thread these obstacles, you want to position your canoe in such a way that you don't get too close to um, the objects that are in your way. So you want to leave maybe two canoes distance on both sides of your canoe because of how big and messed up the hitbox is. So right now... I'm going to have to turn into the current a bit. And I'm hoping that I'm not going to get too many bugs. But if I do, you'll get to see what they are. Again, we are floating. This completely messed me up. Okay. I managed to save that one. I managed to save that one. That was quite a tight one right there. So, as you saw, right there, I'm getting pushed by the invisible hitbox of the canoe now there is a really interesting fact about this canoe the hitbox is right at the center of the canoe but the front and the back does not seem to have a hitbox as such so right here we want to be right in the middle between the rock and the ground we want to stay 
as central as possible because we don't want to touch him just because of how the hitbox works in this uh, particular stage. So, uh, I'm trying to think of how best to describe the hitbox. So, right here, we'll see the canoe floating. Uh, so, the hitbox is right at the center on either side of the canoe. So, you want to leave, as I said, about two canoes uh, space between you and any other obstacle. Whereas, at the front and the back of the canoe that doesn't seem to be a hitbox so i'm guessing maybe the hitbox is slightly warped or twisted or something like that right here again same thing right down the middle make sure you leave plenty of room on either side if you start lagging out um i mean it may take you a couple of attempts until you get the idea of it but um don't do anything wait for the rubber banding effect to take effect before you actually make any adjustments um <laughs> It's difficult because you don't, you won't really have an actual uh, idea of where you are located. Down this way, right here, another tricky area, right down the middle. So I'm going to turn into the land, then right into the corner right there, just like you saw. Uh, we want to try and stay in between those uh, right down the middle as much as possible so we don't touch anything. So here, normally I would get really close to the cliffs, but don't do it because of the hitbox. I think this is the one that has the most messed up hitbox as far as the canoe goes. So, of course, that leaves us very little wiggle room. Right after this turn right here, there's a little rock, so we need to bear that in mind. I'm going to straighten out our canoe. Turn. Right, go into that cliff on the left-hand side. Turn to the right. And I mean really turn to the right. You do not want to go down the left side. So you see a rock in front of us. Do not take that path because your canoe will snag on the edge. And that's it. You have to wait for the time to run out, which is an absolute pain. So we're going to fall down here. There are some rocks that we need to bear in mind. So turn out of them and try and uh, zigzag your way through them. After this cliff, we're going to make a sharp right turn because we are going to go down the right way, the right path. I mean, that's where the water will take us. But there are two stones, as you can see right there. You saw them before. We're going to try and go through the middle of them. But straight after the middle of them, we want to take the right side. Now, bear in mind, this is where things end up getting derpy most often. So we're going to turn in really hard. We want to get close to this wall and just pay attention right there because that's where things get derpy. This is one of the derpy sections of this course. Again, we're going to take the yellow circle, but we want to try and position ourselves so that we go. Oh, that was a close call. So we, we want to go between that rock and the landmass. That's what we want to position ourselves to do this. And so right here. We want to go sideways, and then as we come around this corner, turn it again. We're going to go sideways. We're aiming to go towards that edge, but we also have to account for the current that is also pushing us. So, again, this area that was coming up is also quite buggy. Uh, there's a lot of snagging, rubber banding, floating, flying, all that stuff. Uh, right now, my canoe is not really responding. Okay, we, we're back. So, sometimes the canoe won't do what it's supposed to it won't turn i won't do any of that again we're going to turn in really hard right here we want to avoid those rocks it's going to be difficult to slalom uh amongst them so we want to try and stick to this edge right here go, go, go. we're going to go for this right here we don't want to hit that ring because that will throw us right into the ground but there's another ring right there which we can get if we want to uh, Time-wise, we should be all right. If you look at the race progress, we have five um, uh, checkpoints of six, so we're right at the end. Right, so we're gonna go towards. Okay, we're flying. Who? <laughs> so we're gonna go towards this end right here because we're gonna need to turn in. So we don't want to get close to the left edge. We want to stick to the right side here. Remember your spacing. This is what is the most important. You want to have a good gap between your canoe and pretty much any obstacle. There is a ring right there. Uh, 
if you think you can grab it grab it if not just leave it it is not important we want to try and thread between this stone right here which is difficult this is one of the more difficult parts and this cliff if we snag it that's fine it'll give us a bit of a boost we did but this is what happens you have to be careful because you don't want to hit the cliff on this end we're going to go on the outside so that would be on the left side uh we're just gonna forget about that ring right there it doesn't make a difference we're doing all right for time i mean the biggest difficulty here for this particular course isn't the time it's the bugginess of it time wise we have plenty of time so right now we're going to get pushed into this cliff so we'll have to turn really sharp to the left to avoid you saw there the hitbox of the canoe i more or less bounced off the edge but the reason i didn't take damage is because i used the back of the canoe to bounce off the edge and we are coming to an end so this is pretty much it. I mean, no this is absolutely broken beyond belief uh, and it's quite difficult to do. To master this, it has taken me and I am not messing with you guys. Maybe five hours of just running this race over and over and over again. A lot of frustration, a bit of swearing, but I got there in the end. I figured out the path of least resistance and things that you want to keep in mind is when you get to the falls, always take the right path. The left ones, for some odd reason, are really messed up and buggy and you will snag on them, like literally snag on them and that's it. Your canoe will not go anywhere. Other than that, the idea is your hitbox for the canoe is freaking huge. And you, so you want a canoe, canoe and a half space distance uh, on either side of your canoe. Uh, whereas the hitbox seems to be focused on the center of the canoe, on the front and back end of the canoe. The hitbox isn't that great. So that means you can use that to bounce yourself off of edges if you're getting too close but do not go at full speed because you will still take damage so with that said and done that's pretty much it for this video i hope this helps you guys with us if you're struggling as much as i did if you find it as broken as i did if not it was just a nice video to show you how to complete one of the most broken missions here on our genesis 2 hopefully this gets fixed out uh, here we go we're flying again Okay, okay, I can do this. This is not a big problem. We're going to need to turn. Okay, we're turning just about. I don't know why. Oh, hey, what's going on? All right, we need to straighten up the canoe. Um, right, nearly. We're turning, turning. What the hell's going on? My canoe's not responding. No, no, no. Don't do this. What's going on? Why am I turning the wrong way? That's the wrong way. Don't do this. Oh, this is bad. This is so frustrating. Why is the canoe not responding? Right, we're getting there. That's fine. We saved it. Nope. 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 Too close to the edge. Too close. Oh my god, I didn't touch it. That's good. Oh, that was frustrating. Right, so canoe was not responding right there. It was doing its own thing, which was bad. But I managed to get through it without hitting anything, so that's good. Let's see what's going on. This has got me really scared. <laughs> Okay, can I pull this through without hitting anything? These bugs are so frustrating. There we go. We're turning. So remember to stay away from the edges. Okay, we avoided that rock right there. Things are working. That's good. I can work with things. Oh, no. Something's happening. What the hell? Oh, ah. Oh, my God. How I did not die. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 no, canoe's not responding again. Oh my god, I'm turning. Wrong way, canoe. Oh, jeez. I have no idea what happened there. I cannot even begin to understand what just happened there. Okay, let's just do this. It's fine, I have plenty of time still. Yeah, well, I can't do any faster. This is as fast as the game wants me to go. And I'm kind of glad because of how broken this is. Okay, we're turning. We're turning. That's good. We have movement. Oh, I'm getting a bit close to the edge. I don't like that. Yep, okay. We snagged onto it, but it's okay. Okay, I can do this. Okay, so we're doing all right for health. Um, right, so I'm going to go down this path right there. Turning into it. 
my canoe's not moving. Oh, no, come on. Don't do this. I hope this is rubber banding and nothing else. Nope. Why do I keep getting pulled towards the stone? Oh, well, that's very useful, isn't it? Oh, my God. Come on. Don't know what's going on. What is going on? What the heck just happened? Right, my canoe's not doing anything. I, I want to rage quit right now. What's going on? Okay, right. We, we can still give this a go. I don't think I'm going to get to the end, but that was so frustrating. The canoe was not doing anything. It was not responding. Whew. Right, take a breath. Right, let's go. Let's see how far I can get with this. I don't know if I'm going to get very far, but we're going to give this a go. Alright, halfway through this. No damage, so that's positive. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, nothing's happening. What the heck? Ah. Oh. I don't know if I can pull this out of this one. I'm going to try, though. Like, genuinely, the canoe right there was not doing anything. I'm stuck. No, hold on a bit. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Like, genuinely, I could not turn. I was flying. I literally just got stuck on top of that rock. There we go. We're going straight for this one. This is going to be useful. Um. Right. Okay. Mate. No, I'm going straight for that big rock. Can I avoid this? Yeah, there we go. That is the hitbox of this freaking thing. This is messed up really badly. All right, here we go. We're going for the cliff. Gonna go for the right side. I know the left one is broken as hell. And here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm still going with this. So we're gonna hit this ring. All right, we've avoided that. What the freaking hell? What was that? I was well away from that. That just made no sense. Okay. Oh, I'm going to take a break from this. Okay, so let's try this again. What the hell? <laughs> well, now this is broken to a different level. I've not seen this one before. Wow. Okay. So the race has started, apparently. But I don't even understand why this is a thing right now. How frustrating. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely the most broken mission so far. And it is so damn frustrating. <sighs> right, well. Might as well stop recording. I don't think anything's going to happen going forward. I'm just going to have to eventually speed things up just for the time. Counter to go down. Oh, there we go. Taking damage. Hey, we're falling at least. We're slowly falling, I can see that. Yeah, well, I'm not going anywhere. I don't know what the hell's going on. Sorry, HLNA, but this mission is broken. Oh, this is so frustrating. So now I have to wait for the whole time to count down, or at least until the canoe's health is gone. I can only imagine what would it be like, what it would have been like if you didn't have access to admin commands. If you're doing this on a genuine server without the access, you had to wait, what, 10 minutes for the time to go down just to get out of it. How frustrating that would be, especially after so many attempts.